Good afternoon, everybody. I wanted to show you something that's not new. Um, not only is the the concept not new, it's this is this particular book is not new, but I had not done a flip of it, and I want to do a flip and talk to you about it because I'm getting ready to start doing it again in a different way. Um, this was a, a challenge by Shannon Green, and I will give you a link down below in um, the description. She has uh, her own YouTube channel and a very nice YouTube channel with lots of information. And if you guys haven't been there, you really want to go. Um, but also she has a Facebook page. And this was it's called Journaling by Fives. And you really have to watch her videos to see what she's talking about because it's building up journal pages in layers. And I'll explain why I don't. They've changed it some, and now they're de doing it called deconstructed, which means it's not done in one book at one time. Anyways, um, this is my my journaling by fives challenge book. Um, I did this back, it says, in July of 2017. Um, the idea is you take five minutes and you do 20 pages. Of one thing you lay on some paint then you lay on some collage then you do a little of this and then you do a little of that well um, but you do it that they were doing it in a composition book with pages that had been glued together first off I don't like gluing pages together so and then it came out things would be wet and they would be uh, I just don't like it uh, I don't like working that way I don't work that way in my own books. I do do lots of layers, but I don't do the um, do it all at one time. Because you would go through this whole book and you would put down paint, and then you would go through the whole book and you would put down the next step and add words and this and that. Well, and you each page got the same thing. Well, then that meant everything was wet and sticky. Um, so what I'm going to do is give you a flip. Because I want to take some of these, the ideas I had in this, and apply them to some new journal pages. So, um, this one says create. Um, there's, I like collage, and I do a lot of collage on the tops of things. Then there's pen work, of course. Um, this one says revel in color, and there really isn't that much color. <laughs> um I really do like how some of the pages come out. I just wish that it had uh, been done where on something that was a little sturdier and didn't curl up so bad. Um, I was I, I'm very pleased with with most of the pages. This one says extraordinary. And this one is about beginning your creative journey. There's all sorts of things in here, tissue paper and napkins and magazine pieces. And um, this one's blooming with inspiration. Oh, stamping. There was stamping. This is a quote by Will Smith. It says, and I'm not sure if you can read it on the screen, but it says, everything you want is on the other side of fear. It's by Will Smith. And this one, of course, says celebrate every moment. Now, you, you didn't work on this page. You only worked on one page at a time. Partially because if you tried to work on this, then they would have really been stuck together. Um, gluing the pages together was beyond me, I think. It was really a chore. It says the more you want, the more you get. I'm not sure that that's true, but uh, if you, the more you work, the more you get. So this one says hide and seek, my little oriental kitty.
This is what inspires you. I think that's one of my least favorite pages. Bold vision. This one says it really gets people when you start flying around in space. And this one says love is all around. Creative vision. I kind of like my fish. I thought they came out kind of cute, fun. I enjoyed this one. It just says bravo. The other thing about working in a, a composition book, I have since learned that when you're working in a composition book, you want to work one page in the front and another page in the back, and it keeps the spine from doing a, a spinny thing that's really kind of ugly. But this is Discover Your Creative Wings. And this is Your Creativity Renewed. It's very springy. This one says celebrate tradition. I really, one of the things I want to work with on some of the new pages are these, these little circles and the squares in the front page. Let me show you that again. These little squares. The thing was is that we were living in the RV at the time, and I didn't have any of my punches or anything like that. So all I had was scissors and magazines to to use and I really enjoy some of the things that I did with that and I really want to work with that again. Um, some of these pages toward the back did not get much pen work because I was just so done with this book the way it was doing it. So, so, but that one says a dream. This is, says the ingredients for a masterpiece. And again, you can see the circles. That's just a magazine page with this, with circles cut. And I, I liked how this one came out. And this one didn't get finished, but and I probably never will. Because like I said, I, I really got done with how this book was doing. And I, that looks like it's just the beginnings of one. Now, I did end up with four or five extra pages, so I finished the 20 pages that was supposed to be done in the challenge. This is a napkin. Or maybe, maybe that's tissue paper. And this may have been wrapping paper off of a gift or something that uh, it might have been a, um, a magazine page. I don't remember. And that's the last one. Okay, so anyways, this is Journaling by Fives by Shannon Green. And I hope you like the flip. I hope you like the pages. Like I said, I want to uh, start working on using some of these ideas in some of my other art journals where I'm not fighting with this book. Um, I really enjoyed the the idea and the process, but I didn't enjoy doing it in five minutes where I had to, I like to let my stuff dry, each layer dry, and then do the next layer. And um, you went through and did all the layers, and then you, were, you could let it dry, but the problem was it just, Everything was sticky. You can't you can't really do 20 pages in a book, at least to me. I don't like it. Um, and that's not to say that other people don't like it, do like it. That they might like that, and that's fine. I just was not real happy with it. So um, I love the pages, though. I love the idea that you you do 20 backgrounds, and then you do 20. It, it gives you all of these starts on pages so it's really fun to do um 
I'm probably going to try doing it again, but just maybe not with the timer. So if you like my videos, please, please do give me a thumbs up and give me a, a comment and let me know you were here. Please subscribe to the channel and thanks so much for stopping in and go create some art. Have fun.